morning, as I've just seen by the title screen. It's a final farewell to the village. I owe it to myself, the land, and also the landowner to go down and just tidy up all my crap. I haven't been down since February, when uh, we all know what that was like when I left it. I just left it, I thought, I'm not doing it anymore, I can't do it. Then a few weeks ago, one of my friends sent me some photos. He'd been down with his daughter and it was it was just awful uh, there's hardly all left of the place so i owe it to myself the land uh, the land owner and the land just to give it back just to so i'm going to go down i've going to disperse all the logs everywhere all the wood that i've taken in we're going to pile up and we're going to have a big fire there it's really sad put a lot of work into this a lot of people have had some good times down here over the years but those that shouldn't be outdoors i've ruined it for absolutely everybody so I'll bring you back as we walk in and we'll have a look at the station together. Plan of action. I'm going to tackle all the fires first. I'm going to tide this fire pit out. I'm going to leave the fire pit as a sort of a reminder of what what, what, want, what once was. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to tidy away the other ones. Then we're going to concentrate on litter. Then we'll sort the logs out. This log's been here for the best part of five years. It was the first log we put down the rebuild of the original shelter. I'm good, you know. I'm, I'm really good. I'm doing this. I've got nothing more to come down here and you know maintain buildings and you know if everything works as it should do and everyone looking after stuff. And I've not, I love it coming down just to do that. You know this one. First log we put down on the rebuild. Let's move it. Just start collecting some rubbish there. We've got all this crap over here to do as well. All this paper, I'm going to get rid of the fire pit. Pick all those uh, cans up and bottles, and then just rake it all out. Get rid of the stumps. No idea where that one's from. Oh, over there. Unbelievable, isn't it? Found the hinges of the hatch for the pilotwood cabin. So it's been burnt over here. I want to get rid of it at the moment. But yeah. So as you just seen, these are the hinges that went above there for the uh, hatch. So the hatch has been ripped off and taken down there. I did find, I think, I think six of the eight screws that we uh, screwed it on with. But yeah, I found those over there. So obviously the uh, hatch has been taken over. I have also found this. Check that out. It's the horseshoe. This replaced the original plaque that I had above the log cabin door in 2018. In 2020 when I moved house, 
the plaque had split in half. So I thought, right, this is going to come down, it's going to go above the log cabin. Then I took it off the log cabin and I put it above the rebuild of the original shelter. And it's been there ever since. I thought it had gone, just like pretty much everything else that's been metal. You know, all pots and pans have virtually gone. There's a couple under here, but they've all gone, most of them. All the glass, is, there's so much glass, I can't pick it all up. But I've done my best. But yeah, I'm happy I found that. I'll take it home with me. And at the end of today. The shelter is no more. I've thrown out logs out in wood. I'm going to leave that because it's very quite, quite low under. I've left the boundary because, well, it looks, you know, <laughs> remains, it remains of something. You know what I mean? You know, there's the half for the uh, for the fire that we're in the log cabin. That's got moved. I'm going to leave that there. I'm also going to leave the fire pit. Might as well leave the chopping block as well. You know, who knows? It might just be left. And then, you know, years to come, it gets found under a load of undergrowth. But yeah, I'm leaving the boundary. I mean, look at it. It's just a shell of what it was. Those that were with me through the build, you know how long it took. I had to come down, straighten everything up with all these battens that I got from work. I thought I'd introduce something pretty cool. I brought down an enforced window. You know, one of those ones with barbed wire in. You know, a reinforced window. It didn't even last a week and it was all smashed up. That window were older than me. There's also this fire pit that I've got rid of. Picked up all the rubbish. All the tissues and trees I picked up. It looks a bit bad now, but give it a couple of days, nature will get that back and it'll be like no over there. I can't pick up that tree, it's like it's been ripped out of the ground, put there, it's still quite fresh. I'm just gonna leave that there, I can't do it with it. Let that die back. I've thrown all the bricks out over there. So then, we call it a do. You know what, I really enjoyed being down here today. Just sweeping up, you know, tidying up, as I have done before. Well, so it's for a different reason this time. Join us in part two of the final farewell. This is going to come down. You can see it's already. Looks like someone's been swinging on it, so. Yeah, it'll be down in a few days. I'm going to sort that out. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you again in the next one.